I love the Roanoke area. I'm not originally from here. I've been living here four or five years. Uh, I'm originally from Michigan. And uh, we moved here. Claps from Michigan. Wait to use your hands. we will come up in a second. Uh, I, I love Roanoke area, but the hardest transition for me uh, was uh, something I've been doing my whole life and couldn't do anymore, and that's telling people where I live using my hand. I've been doing that my whole life, and now I live here, and people are like, hey, where do you, where do you live in Virginia? And I go, oh no. I'm like throwing gang signs up, being like, I hope you know what I mean. What I like doing is just flexing and being like, yeah, where my fist is is DC, where I'm crooking my elbow is Roanoke. More recently, I've just been using my leg, and where I'm just like, yeah, uh, the pimple on my butt is DC. Uh, Roanoke is my Achilles. And then I cramp, so I don't do that much anymore. Uh, but I do like Roanoke. When I first moved here, though, Charlottesville just happened. And I was, yeah, that was my exact thought. I'm like, oh no. I'm going to get here, and people are going to be like, Taylor, there's only two genders, armed and unarmed. Come here! Like, that's. <laughs> I really expected that happen, and I was like, and, and it didn't. I was pleasantly surprised, but I came here with this trepidation that, oh, Michigan, nothing like that ever happens. <laughs> and then COVID hit, and then eight people were really mad about masks and tried to kidnap the governor. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know nothing, John Snow. <laughs> and I, I think the reason I was just full of this, oh, like, Michigan's fine, is because uh, it snows nine months out of the year. Snow is a good bigotry weather. It's not... <laughs> it's hard to be prejudiced when you have, like, frostbite. It's... It's not a good motion there. Uh, <laughs> but, um, people... People just have biases. That's, that's where this all comes from. And I think with there not being snow in the south, that's why you hear it so much more often. It's not, it's warmer. And then like five years with, uh, with global warming, we're just gonna find out Canadians are also assholes. <laughs> oh, they're not very nice and they have hockey sticks, we should run. Uh, but there's biases and you should recognize your bias. Like my, myself, I have a bias towards smoking. My mother died when I was young, got lung cancer. Not a big fan of smoking. And I will let that be known that someone finally just kind of like snapped at me. It's like, Taylor, your lifestyle is just as unhealthy as mine. And I said, you know what, you're right. But there's no such thing as secondhand cholesterol. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you. No one ever walking around being like, ah, someone eating McDonald's next to me? What's going on? <laughs> no one has just Big Mac debris in their face for no reason. Ah, get that out of there. It's not a thing. I am, I am addicted to food. And it's the lamest addiction because you need it to live. Like, you don't go to AA and someone's like, hey, I'm addicted to alcohol, and I've lost my family because of it. Or you go, like, I'm addicted to drugs and gambling, I've lost my house. There's no one like me going, like, hi, I'm telling I'm addicted to num-nums. <laughs> Might lose a toe at some point. <laughs> and for that reason, I want to get healthy. I want to uh, work out and stuff like that, because I don't know if you know this, but, uh, Ladies aren't chubby chasers, that's not a thing. No lady goes to a bar going like, you know what, I love marine life and that whale. It doesn't happen. <laughs> no one's ever like, you know what, I've always wanted to know what it's like to have sex in my beanbag chair. <laughs> he looks tropey enough. Like, it's, that's not a thing. And don't worry about it, because I want to make, I want to go to the gym, but gym is not for fat people. They, you know, the best gyms out there, Planet Fitness, it's a judgment-free zone. No, it just means you can't use your words. <laughs> your eyes say plenty else. And that's why I want to make my own gym just for fat people. Call it Curves. <laughs> now, I know there's a women's gym called Curves. I'd rename that to Estro Gym, because it makes way more sense. Or if that went over your head, maybe uh, Bumps, Loves, and Brute Egos, maybe. <laughs> That'll work. I love that. But uh, before I get out of here, guys, I want to tell you uh, a fun, fun little fact about me. Um, I, and hear me out, I was almost a sex offender once. <laughs> wait, wait. It was nothing nefarious. What happened was, is in fourth, fifth grade, really young, they were teaching us about the sex offender list. I don't know how you can go outside 
and see, hey, who in my area is a sex offender who should I watch out for? And I was like, I want to know. I'm a peach. So I go online, <laughs> and I can't find a list. I can't find anything on this list. And then in the corner it says sign up. I'm like, oh. <laughs> you have to be a member of the site to find the list. I know how Yahoo Mail works. It's the same thing. No. And I want the story to end there. I want it to end where I'm like, and I realized I was a dumbass. No, I'm signing everything. Name, phone number, all of this. And ask me which offense I'm signing up for. I'm like, all of them. Why would I pick which one I need to see? And just click on the buttons. Guys, that has been my time. Thank you so much for coming out.